Welcome to Wu English, where we learn English through captivating stories. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the life of Arthur Clarke, a visionary who took us beyond the limits of our world into the vastness of space and the depths of human imagination. Our story is crafted with clear and simple sentences, making it perfect for learners at a B1 level. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Arthur Clarke, where each chapter unfolds new wonders and insights, enhancing not only our understanding of this remarkable man, but also our grasp of the English language. Let's begin our adventure. Chapter 1. Beginnings in the Stars Imagine a young boy, Arthur, lying in his backyard in England, gazing up at the vast night sky. It's a clear, dark night, and the stars are twinkling brightly above him. This is where our story begins, with Arthur's fascination with these distant, sparkling lights. Arthur was born in a small, quiet town, where life was simple but full of wonders for a curious mind like his. Every night, he would sneak out of his bed, tiptoeing past his sleeping family to spend hours under the stars. He had a small, worn-out book about planets and galaxies, and he read it until its pages turned soft at the edges. Look at all those stars, he'd whisper to himself in awe. What secrets do they hold? Are there other worlds out there, like in my stories? Arthur loved to read science fiction tales, stories of brave explorers travelling to distant planets and encountering strange new worlds. As he lay there, a shooting star streaked across the sky, leaving a trail of light behind. Arthur's heart raced with excitement. He made a wish, a wish to travel among the stars, to see the wonders of the universe for himself. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, and Arthur's love for the stars only grew. He spent his afternoons at the local library, his eyes wide with wonder as he flipped through books about space travel and astronomy. He learned about constellations, about how sailors used the stars to find their way at sea, and how scientists used telescopes to look deep into space. Arthur's parents noticed his growing interest in the stars. For his birthday, they gave him a small telescope, a gateway to the universe. That night, Arthur peered through the lens for the first time and saw the craters of the moon, the rings of Saturn, and the red hue of Mars. It was a magical experience, one that he would never forget. At school, Arthur's teachers encouraged his passion. His science teacher, Mr. Benson, saw the spark in Arthur's eyes whenever they talked about space. You have a curious mind, Arthur. Mr. Benson would say. Never stop asking questions. Who knows? One day you might find the answers out there among the stars. Arthur started writing his own stories, tales of adventures in space, of distant galaxies and alien worlds. He shared them with his friends at school, and they would listen, captivated by the images his words painted. Your stories make us feel like we're really travelling through space, they'd tell him, their eyes shining with excitement. As Arthur grew older, his dreams grew with him. He knew that his path would be among the stars, exploring the unknown, just like the heroes in his stories. He started studying harder, learning all he could about physics, mathematics and astronomy the languages of the universe. Sometimes, when he felt overwhelmed or doubtful, he would go back to his backyard, look up at the stars, and remember the feeling of wonder from his childhood. It was a reminder that the universe was vast and full of mysteries waiting to be discovered. The years passed, and Arthur's journey into the world of science fiction and space exploration began to take shape. He wrote more stories, filled with imagination and wonder, and people began to take notice. 
Arthur wasn't just a boy with a telescope anymore. He was becoming a storyteller, a dreamer, a visionary. But no matter how far his journey took him, he always remembered those nights under the stars, the gentle breeze, the hoots of the owl, and the endless sky that sparked the flame of curiosity in his heart. It was there, in those quiet, starry nights, that the life of Arthur C. Clarke truly began. Chapter 2 Young Mind, Big Dreams in a small bustling school in England, a young Arthur Clarke walked through the halls with a determined look on his face. He carried a stack of books under his arm, each one about science or mathematics. Arthur, now a teenager, was facing a challenge. His family didn't have much money and life was hard. But inside the classroom, none of that mattered. Here, he was a star. Mathematics and science classes were where Arthur shined the brightest, Numbers and formulas came to him as easily as breathing. He would sit at his desk, his pencil moving swiftly across the paper, solving complex equations that most students found baffling. Excellent work, Arthur, his teacher would say, looking over his shoulder at the neat rows of calculations. You have a real talent for this. Arthur's classmates would nod in agreement, some with admiration others with a hint of envy. Despite the financial struggles at home, Arthur's parents knew the importance of education. Your mind is your greatest asset, Arthur, his father would tell him. Use it well, and it will take you far. These words echoed in Arthur's mind every day, driving him to work harder. The local library became Arthur's second home. He would spend hours there after school, lost in books about the stars, about great scientists and their discoveries. He imagined himself making his own discoveries one day, contributing something meaningful to the world of science. But life wasn't all about studying for Arthur. He had a playful side too. He loved to tinker with old radios and mechanical toys, taking them apart and putting them back together, figuring out how they worked. His room was filled with parts and tools, a testament to his curious and inventive spirit. Arthur also found joy in writing. He started a small school science club, where he and his friends would discuss the latest scientific news and theories. They published a little newsletter, with Arthur as the main writer. His articles were clear, informative, and sometimes filled with his own imaginative ideas about the future. However, Arthur's journey wasn't without its bumps. There were times when he felt overwhelmed by the pressure to succeed, to rise above his family's financial situation. He would lie awake at night, staring at the ceiling, worrying about the future. But then he would remember the stars, how they shined brightly against the dark sky, constant and unyielding. They reminded him that there was a whole universe out there, waiting to be understood. This thought comforted him, giving him the strength to face each new day with hope and determination. As Arthur grew older, his dreams grew with him. He knew that his love for science and mathematics was more than just a passing interest. It was his calling. He dreamed of going to university, of becoming a scientist or an engineer, of making a difference in the world. The end of his school years approached, and Arthur faced a crucial moment. He needed to do well in his final exams to get a scholarship for university. He studied day and night, fueled by his passion and his dreams. Finally, the day of the exams arrived. Arthur walked into the examination hall with a mix of nervousness and excitement. He took a deep breath, picked up his pencil, and began to write. The questions on the paper were challenging, but Arthur was ready. Years of hard work and dedication had prepared him for this moment. When the results came out, Arthur's heart raced as he opened the envelope. There, in black and white, was the news he had been hoping for. 
he had passed with flying colours. He had earned a scholarship to university. That night, Arthur looked up at the stars, a wide smile on his face. He had taken the first big step toward his dreams, a step toward understanding the language of the universe, toward a future filled with possibilities. And it was all thanks to his young mind and big dreams. Chapter 3 The Call of the Sea In the early 1940s, the world was in turmoil. World War II had spread across continents, changing lives and shaping history. In England, a young Arthur Clarke, now in his early 20s, felt a call to serve his country. This call led him to the Royal Navy, a decision that would not only contribute to his country, but also shape his future in ways he never imagined. Arthur found himself assigned to work on radar technology, a field that was new and full of mysteries. Radar was crucial for the war, helping to detect enemy ships and aircraft. For Arthur, with his love for science and technology, this was a fascinating new world. He worked tirelessly, learning the ins and outs of radar systems. It was complex work, involving physics, mathematics and engineering, all subjects that Arthur loved. He quickly became known for his expertise and his ability to solve difficult technical problems. But life in the Navy was not just about work. It was a time of great personal growth for Arthur. He made new friends from all walks of life, each with their own stories and experiences. These friendships broadened his perspective, giving him a deeper understanding of people and the world. The sea itself had a profound impact on Arthur. He spent hours on deck, staring at the vast ocean, feeling its power and mystery. The sea was like another world, a world as unexplored and fascinating as space. This experience stirred something in him, a sense of adventure and a longing to explore the unknown. During his time in the Navy, Arthur's imagination was as active as ever. He began to see connections between his work with radar and his passion for science fiction. The technology he was working with, once the stuff of fantasy, was now a reality. This realisation excited him and sparked new ideas for stories. Arthur's experiences in the Navy also taught him about the harsh realities of war. He saw the impact of conflict on people and places, the loss and the suffering. These experiences deepened his thinking, adding a new layer of complexity to his understanding of the human condition. But even in the midst of war, Arthur's optimistic spirit and his belief in the potential of science and technology never wavered. He dreamed of a future where technology could bring people together instead of tearing them apart. He imagined worlds where humans explored not for conquest, but for knowledge and understanding. As the war came to an end, Arthur returned to civilian life, but he was not the same young man who had joined the Navy. He had grown both in knowledge and in spirit. His experiences in the war had given him a wealth of material for his writing. He had stories to tell, not just of space and the future, but of the sea, of human courage, and of the power of technology. Arthur's time in the Royal Navy was a turning point in his life. It was there that his skills as a scientist and his talents as a writer found a new purpose. The call of the sea had answered the call of the stars, merging together to shape the path of one of the most influential science fiction writers of the 20th century. As Arthur looked back on those years, he realised that his journey through the war had been like a voyage across an unknown ocean. It was a journey of discovery, not just of the world, but of himself. And it was this journey that would inspire some of his greatest works, stories that would capture the imagination of people all over the world. Arthur's adventure in the Navy was over. 
but his journey as a storyteller was just beginning. The sea had called him, and he had answered, and in doing so he had found a new depth to his voice, a new story to tell. Chapter 4 Visions of the Future After the war, the world was rebuilding and changing. It was during this time of renewal that Arthur Clarke, now in his late twenties, turned his gaze once again to the future. His experiences during the war had sharpened his understanding of technology and its potential. Now, more than ever, he was filled with ideas about what the future could hold. Arthur began to write about these ideas. He imagined a world where technology was not just a tool for war, but a way to bring people together. Among his most revolutionary ideas was satellite communication. At that time, the idea of using satellites for communication was groundbreaking. People communicated over long distances by telephone wires or radio waves that travelled through the air. The idea of sending messages via machines in space was almost unthinkable. But Arthur wasn't just imagining these technologies. He was also thinking about how they would change society. He saw satellites as a way to share information quickly and widely, to connect people around the world like never before. He envisioned a future where news, entertainment and knowledge could be transmitted across the globe instantly, breaking down barriers and opening up new possibilities. Arthur began to write articles and essays about his ideas. He explained how satellites could be placed in orbit around the Earth, high enough to cover large areas of the planet. He talked about how these satellites could relay signals, allowing for global communication networks. His writing wasn't limited to technical details. Arthur was a storyteller at heart, and he used his talents to paint vivid pictures of the future. He wrote about a world where people could watch events happening on the other side of the world in real time, where scientists could share their discoveries instantly, and where families separated by vast distances could stay connected. Arthur's ideas were not immediately accepted. Some people thought they were too far-fetched, too much like science fiction. But Arthur didn't let scepticism stop him. He knew that great ideas often seemed impossible at first. He continued to write, to speak, and to share his vision. As time passed, Arthur's vision of satellite communication began to take hold. Scientists and engineers, inspired by his writings, started to explore the possibility of making it a reality. The idea of a connected world, once a dream in Arthur's mind, was becoming a tangible possibility. Arthur's writing during this time reflected his optimism about the future. He believed in the power of human ingenuity to overcome challenges and create a better world. His vision of the future was not just about technology, but about how technology could enhance human life, bring people together and expand our understanding of the universe. Arthur Clarke's post-war years were a time of great creativity and foresight. His visions of future technologies, especially satellite communications, were ahead of their time. But more than that, they were a reflection of his belief in the potential of humanity. He saw a future where technology was a force for good, a tool for building a more connected, knowledgeable and understanding world. As Arthur looked up at the night sky, now dotted with the first artificial satellites, he felt a sense of fulfilment. His visions of the future were becoming a reality, and he knew that this was just the beginning. There were more ideas to explore, more stories to tell, and a vast future to imagine. Arthur Clarke had become more than a writer. He was a visionary, a prophet of the future. And as the world began to embrace his ideas, he continued to dream, to write, and to inspire, shaping not just the world of science fiction, but the very future he had imagined.
Chapter 5 The Sentinel of Science In the mid-twentieth century, Arthur Clarke, now a recognised writer and visionary, penned a short story that would become a cornerstone of his career. This story, titled The Sentinel, was a spark that ignited the flame of his later masterpieces. It was a tale that showcased his deep sense of wonder and his belief in the boundless potential of human innovation. The Sentinel was a story set on the moon. It was about a discovery made by astronauts, a discovery that would change their understanding of the universe. They found a mysterious object, a sort of beacon left by an unknown civilization. This object, silent and enigmatic, stood as a testament to the existence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Arthur's writing in The Sentinel was simple yet profound. He used clear, concise language to weave a narrative that was both captivating and thought-provoking. The story was not just about the discovery itself, but about the implications of such a discovery. It made readers ponder the vastness of the universe and the possibilities of life beyond our planet. In this story, Arthur explored themes that were central to his work, the exploration of space, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and the future of humanity. He believed that the universe was full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and that it was our destiny as humans to seek them out. The Sentinel was a reflection of Arthur's lifelong fascination with the stars and the unknown. He had always been captivated by the mysteries of the cosmos, and through his writing, he shared this sense of wonder with the world. His story invited readers to look up at the night sky and dream, to imagine what secrets lay hidden in the dark expanse of space. This short story also showcased Arthur's belief in human innovation. He was convinced that one day, humanity would venture far beyond Earth, exploring distant planets and making incredible discoveries. The Sentinel was a glimpse into this future, a future where human curiosity and ingenuity knew no bounds. Arthur's storytelling in The Sentinel was not just about entertaining readers, it was about inspiring them. He wanted to ignite a spark of curiosity and a hunger for knowledge in everyone who read his work. He wanted to encourage people to think, to question, and to explore. The Sentinel was more than just a story. It was a message. It was Arthur's way of saying that the universe was full of mysteries and it was up to us to uncover them. It was a call to adventure, to the pursuit of knowledge and to the exploration of the unknown. As The Sentinel gained popularity, it became clear that Arthur Clarke was not just a science fiction writer. He was a prophet of the future, a guide to the wonders of the cosmos. His story resonated with readers, awakening a sense of awe and a desire to know more about the universe and our place in it. The impact of The Sentinel went beyond the world of literature. It inspired scientists and astronauts, dreamers and explorers, it became a symbol of the human spirit's unending quest for understanding. The story's themes would later be expanded in Arthur's future works, becoming the foundation for some of his most famous novels. The Sentinel was a testament to Arthur's genius as a writer and a thinker. It captured the essence of his vision, a future where humanity reached for the stars driven by curiosity and guided by the light of science and reason. In this short story, Arthur Clarke offered a glimpse into a future full of possibilities, a future where the sentinel of science stood watch, guiding us on our journey through the cosmos. Chapter 6 A Voice in the Void In the bustling world of science fiction, a new voice emerged, capturing the imagination of readers worldwide. This voice belonged to Arthur Clarke, a writer whose unique perspective and innovative ideas were beginning to find their place in the science fiction community. 
as Arthur began publishing more novels and stories, he was not just writing tales of space and the future. He was challenging and expanding the human perspective. Arthur's stories were different from typical science fiction of the time. They were not just about space battles or alien invasions. Instead, they explored deeper themes, the potential of technology, the vastness of the universe, and the future of humanity. Arthur believed that science fiction could be a window into the future, a way to explore what might be possible. His novels and stories began to gain popularity. Readers were captivated by his visions of the future, his detailed descriptions of space exploration, and his thought-provoking ideas. Arthur's writing was not just entertainment. It was an invitation to think about our place in the universe and the path we were taking as a species. One of the things that set Arthur's writing apart was his ability to blend scientific accuracy with imaginative storytelling. He had a deep understanding of science and technology, and he used this knowledge to create stories that felt real and possible. His descriptions of space travel, for instance, were based on actual scientific principles, making them believable and engaging. Arthur's characters were another important element of his stories. He created characters that readers could relate to, scientists, explorers, and ordinary people facing extraordinary situations. Through these characters, Arthur explored complex moral and philosophical questions. He asked what it means to be human in a world where technology is changing everything. As Arthur's reputation grew, he became a respected figure in the science fiction community. His work was praised for its originality and depth. Other writers looked up to him, inspired by his ability to imagine a future that was both fantastic and grounded in reality. Arthur's influence extended beyond the world of literature. His ideas about space exploration and the future of technology began to influence scientists and thinkers. He was invited to speak at conferences and universities, sharing his vision of the future with people who could make it a reality. Despite his success, Arthur remained humble and curious. He continued to explore new ideas to push the boundaries of what science fiction could be. He believed that there was always more to learn, more to imagine, and more to discover. Arthur's voice in the void of space was a beacon, calling out to readers and dreamers. He reminded us that the future is not something to be feared, but something to be shaped with our own hands. His stories were not just about what could happen, but about what we could make happen. Through his writing, Arthur Clarke became more than just a science fiction writer. He became a guide to the future. He showed us the wonders that could await us in the stars, the challenges we might face, and the potential we had to overcome them. His voice, echoing through the void, was a voice of hope, a voice that said, no matter how far we travel into the unknown, our humanity will always be our guiding star. Chapter 7 Odyssey into Fame As the 20th century marched forward, a remarkable event in the world of science fiction and cinema was about to unfold. Arthur Clarke, already a respected writer, embarked on a journey that would forever change his life and the landscape of science fiction. This journey was the creation of 2001, A Space Odyssey, a collaboration with the renowned director Stanley Kubrick. 2001, A Space Odyssey. It was not just a movie. It was a monumental work that blended cutting-edge science with profound philosophical questions. The film explored themes of evolution, artificial intelligence, and the mysteries of the universe. It was a bold and visionary project, one that required both Arthur's deep understanding of science and Kubrick's artistic genius. The process of creating 2001, A Space Odyssey, 
was a journey in itself. Arthur and Kubrick spent countless hours discussing ideas, crafting a story that was both scientifically plausible and deeply symbolic. They wanted to make a film that was not only visually stunning, but also intellectually stimulating. Arthur's role in the collaboration was crucial. He provided the scientific foundation for the story, drawing on his extensive knowledge of space and technology. He imagined a future where space travel was commonplace, where humanity had reached the moon and beyond. He envisioned advanced artificial intelligence, space stations, and journeys to distant planets. The film's story was ambitious and complex. It spanned millions of years, from the dawn of humanity to a future where humans ventured deep into space. It asked big questions. Where did we come from? What is our destiny? Are we alone in the universe? These were questions that Arthur had pondered throughout his career, and now he had a chance to explore them on the big screen. 2001. A space odyssey was released to the public with great anticipation. From the stunning visuals to the enigmatic storyline, the film captivated audiences. It was unlike anything that had been seen before. The special effects, groundbreaking for their time, brought Arthur's visions of space to life with stunning realism. The film's impact was immediate and profound. It catapulted Arthur into a new level of fame. He was no longer just a science fiction writer, he was a cultural icon, a visionary who had helped create one of the most influential films of the century. Critics and audiences alike were fascinated by the film. Some found it puzzling, others inspiring. It sparked debates and discussions about its meaning and its portrayal of the future. 2001. A space odyssey was not just entertainment. It was a work of art that challenged people to think, to wonder and to dream. Arthur's collaboration with Stanley Kubrick was a milestone in his career. It showed the power of science fiction to explore not just the possibilities of technology, but the mysteries of existence. The film remained a testament to Arthur's genius. His ability to look beyond the present and imagine a future full of wonders and challenges. 2001. A Space Odyssey was more than just a successful film. It was a cultural phenomenon. It influenced generations of filmmakers, writers and scientists. It opened up new possibilities for storytelling and for exploring the big questions of life and the universe. For Arthur, the film was a realisation of his dreams, a chance to share his vision of the future with the world. It was a journey into fame, but more importantly, it was a journey into the hearts and minds of people everywhere. Through 2001, A Space Odyssey, Arthur Clarke had not just told a story. He had created a legacy that would continue to inspire wonder and curiosity for generations to come. As we transition from Chapter 7 to Chapter 8 in Arthur Clarke's captivating journey, don't forget to visit wooenglish.com. There, you can download a free PDF of this story, enhancing your learning experience with clear and simple English. Continue your adventure in language and discovery with Arthur Clarke. Now, let's continue our story, immersing ourselves in the next chapter of our adventure. Chapter 8. Diving into the Unknown In the later years of his adventurous life, Arthur Clarke, the visionary of space and science fiction, turned his boundless curiosity to a new frontier, the depths of the ocean. His journey took him to the beautiful island of Sri Lanka, a place where the mysteries of the sea beckoned him to explore. Arthur's fascination with the ocean was much like his love for space, vast, unexplored and full of possibilities. He saw the ocean as another final frontier, a place where humanity had barely scratched the surface. There, beneath the waves, lay secrets waiting to be discovered, ancient and hidden. 
In Sri Lanka, Arthur found a new home and a new world to explore. The island, with its pristine beaches and clear blue waters, was the perfect place for his undersea adventures. He was drawn to the vibrant life beneath the waves, the colourful coral reefs, and the abundance of marine creatures. Arthur began diving, plunging into the ocean to witness its wonders firsthand. He learned about the delicate balance of marine ecosystems and the intricate lives of underwater species. Each dive was a journey into the unknown, a chance to discover something new and exciting. He didn't just dive for pleasure. Arthur was driven by a scientist's curiosity. He studied the ocean, learning about its currents, its depths, and the creatures that lived there. He was fascinated by the way life in the ocean adapted and thrived in such a different environment from the land. Arthur's undersea explorations influenced his writing. Just as space had inspired his earlier works, now the ocean began to appear in his stories. He wrote about underwater civilizations, deep-sea mysteries, and the potential of humans living beneath the waves. His writing captured the beauty and the mystery of the ocean, inviting readers to imagine the possibilities that lay in its depths. In Sri Lanka, Arthur also became involved in protecting the ocean. He saw the threats to marine life, from pollution to overfishing, and he spoke out about the importance of conservation. He believed that just as we should explore the ocean, we should also respect and protect it. Arthur's love for the ocean was not just a personal passion. It was a reflection of his lifelong pursuit of knowledge and exploration. He had always been drawn to the unknown, whether it was the vastness of space or the depths of the sea. To him, both were frontiers to be explored, understood and cherished. In Sri Lanka, Arthur found more than just a new place to explore. He found a community and a culture that he loved. He became a part of the island and it became a part of him. His home there was a place of peace and inspiration, where he could write, think and dive into the wonders of the sea. Arthur's journey into undersea exploration was another chapter in his remarkable life. It showed his endless capacity for wonder and his unquenchable thirst for knowledge. The ocean, like space, was a place where he could explore, dream and discover. In the quiet depths of the ocean, Arthur Clarke found a new world of beauty and mystery. He showed us that exploration is not just about going farther and higher, but also about going deeper and looking closer. His adventures beneath the waves were a reminder that there are always new frontiers to explore, new mysteries to unravel, and new stories to tell. Chapter 9. Pioneering the Space Age In a remarkable era of human history, the world witnessed the dawn of the Space Age, a time when humanity's oldest dream of reaching the stars began to become a reality. It was during this exhilarating time that Arthur Clarke, already a visionary in the realms of science and fiction, saw his earlier predictions about space travel and communication satellites come true, affirming his extraordinary foresight. Arthur had long imagined humanity stepping beyond the confines of Earth, reaching for the moon and beyond. He wrote about spacecrafts, lunar bases, and the possibilities of exploring the vast expanse of space. His ideas, once confined to the pages of science fiction, were now unfolding as reality. The world watched in awe as astronauts took their first steps on the moon. It was a moment that changed history, a moment that represented the culmination of human ingenuity and determination. For Arthur, it was a validation of his belief in the boundless potential of human exploration. As he watched the moon landing, Arthur felt a deep sense of satisfaction and wonder. He had predicted this moment years before, in his writings where he envisioned humans walking on the moon, looking back at the earth from afar. 
seeing his vision come to life was not just a personal triumph. It was a testament to the power of imagination and the pursuit of knowledge. Arthur's contributions to the space age were not limited to his prophetic writings. He had played a pivotal role in conceptualizing the use of satellites for communication. Long before the world saw the practical applications, Arthur had outlined the idea of geostationary satellites, a network of man-made moons in fixed positions relative to the Earth's surface, providing global communication. The realization of communication satellites revolutionized the way the world shared information. Television broadcasts, phone calls and data transmission could now happen almost instantaneously across the globe. Arthur's vision of a world connected by satellite technology had become a reality, making him not just a writer of fiction, but a pioneer of modern communication. Arthur's foresight extended beyond technological achievements. He understood the profound impact that space exploration would have on humanity's view of itself. The iconic image of Earth, a blue and white sphere suspended in the vastness of space, captured by astronauts on their way to the moon, resonated deeply with Arthur's vision. He saw it as a symbol of our planet's unity and fragility, a reminder that in the vast universe all of humanity shared a single precious home. The Space Age was a time of rapid advancements and extraordinary achievements, and Arthur Clarke was at the forefront, not just observing but actively shaping the narrative. His writings continued to inspire and challenge, urging humanity to look beyond the horizon, to dream of what might be possible. As space exploration continued to evolve, so did Arthur's writings. He explored the possibilities of interstellar travel, contact with alien civilizations, and the future evolution of humanity. Each story, each prediction, was a piece of a larger tapestry, a vision of a future where humanity reached for the stars, not just in fiction, but in reality. Arthur Clarke's role in the pioneering days of the Space Age was more than that of a writer. He was a visionary, a thinker, who dared to dream of the impossible and then saw it come to life. His work during this time cemented his legacy as one of the great minds of the 20th century, a man whose imagination and intellect helped guide humanity into a new era of exploration and discovery. As the world looked to the stars, Arthur Clarke looked with them, his eyes shining with the light of possibilities, his heart filled with the joy of seeing his dreams take flight. The Space Age was not just a time of technological achievement, it was a time of wonder, a time when the boundaries of human potential were pushed further than ever before, and Arthur Clarke was there, leading the way into the unknown. Chapter 10. Prophetic Words In the latter part of the 20th century, Arthur Clarke, already renowned for his contributions to science fiction and his role in the space age, once again proved his extraordinary foresight. His ability to predict future technological advancements had become a subject of widespread awe. Among his most astounding foresights was his vision of the internet and global communication. Predictions that seemed like pure science fiction at the time, but would soon become integral aspects of daily life. Arthur's vision of a networked world was detailed and precise. He imagined a future where computers, then seen as enormous and impersonal machines, would become essential tools for everyday life. He foresaw a world interconnected by an invisible web of communication where information and knowledge were accessible to everyone, everywhere. This vision was revolutionary. At the time, the idea that computers could be used for personal communication, information sharing and global connectivity was almost unthinkable. Computers were mostly confined to academic and government institutions, far from the reach of the general public. But Arthur saw something different. 
he envisaged a future where computing technology would become smaller, more affordable, and more powerful. He predicted that this technology would connect people, breaking down geographical and cultural barriers. In his writings, he described a world where individuals could access vast amounts of information from their homes, where businesses operated globally, and where people from all corners of the world communicated effortlessly. As the Internet began to take shape in the late 20th century, Arthur's predictions seemed less like fiction and more like prescient observations. The rise of the World Wide Web, email, and eventually social media reflected his visions. The Internet transformed the way people worked, learned, and connected, just as he had imagined. Arthur's predictions went beyond the technological aspects of the Internet. He understood the potential social impact of global communication. He talked about the democratization of information, the empowerment of individuals, and the potential for greater understanding and collaboration across cultures. He foresaw the challenges too, such as issues of privacy and the overwhelming flood of information. Arthur Clarke's status as a visionary was cemented by these prophetic words. He was not just a science fiction writer, he was a prophet of the technological age, a man whose imagination and intellect stretched beyond the boundaries of his time. His ability to foresee the future was not mere speculation. It was grounded in his deep understanding of science and his keen observation of human nature. Arthur believed in the power of technology to transform society, but he also understood the responsibility that came with such power. He urged caution and foresight, reminding us that with great technological advances came great challenges. Arthur's vision of the Internet and global communication changed the way people thought about technology and its role in the future. He opened up a world of possibilities, inspiring a generation of technologists, thinkers and dreamers. As the world entered the 21st century, Arthur's predictions continued to unfold. The Internet became the backbone of modern society, just as he had envisioned. It connected people across the globe, enabling new forms of communication, commerce and collaboration. His prophetic words had become a reality, a testament to his extraordinary vision and his enduring impact on the world. Arthur Clarke's legacy as a visionary and a thinker was now firmly established. He had looked into the future and seen a world transformed by technology, a world interconnected and forever changed. His words were not just predictions, they were a blueprint for the future, a guide to navigating the complex and ever-evolving landscape of the technological age. As the world marvelled at the wonders of the internet and global communication, they remembered the man who had seen it coming, the man who had spoken prophetic words that shaped the future, Arthur Clarke. Chapter 11 Beyond the Earth As the 20th century progressed, Arthur Clarke continued to captivate and inspire with his writing, steadfast in his mission to encourage humanity to look beyond the earth. His works, brimming with imagination and insight, urged generations to ponder our place in the vast expanse of the universe. Arthur's stories were more than just tales of space and exploration. They were reflections on humanity's role and future in the cosmic scheme. He delved into themes of discovery, responsibility, and the quest for knowledge. His writings, always rich with a sense of wonder, invited readers to imagine a future where Earth was just one part of a much larger, grander universe. In his novels and short stories, Arthur explored the possibilities of human life beyond Earth. He wrote about space colonies, <laughs> interstellar travel, and encounters with alien civilizations. These weren't mere flights of fancy. They were thought experiments, ways to consider the potential paths of human evolution and expansion. 
Arthur's work consistently highlighted the need for humanity to look outward and upward. He saw space not just as a place for scientific exploration, but as a canvas for humanity's growth and enlightenment. His vision was of a species united in its pursuit of knowledge and exploration, transcending earthly differences and challenges. One of the most profound themes in Arthur's writing was the sense of unity and fragility of Earth. From the vantage point of space, he illustrated, Earth was a small blue oasis in the vastness of the cosmos, a reminder of our shared home and the importance of taking care of it. This perspective, often referred to as the overview effect, was a recurring element in his stories, encouraging a sense of planetary stewardship and cooperation. Arthur's ability to blend scientific accuracy with compelling narrative made his works especially resonant. He didn't just write about space, he brought it to life, making it accessible and relatable. His descriptions of other worlds, the technologies to reach them, and the potential forms of life inhabiting them were grounded in real science, making his visions all the more powerful. Beyond his novels, Arthur was a prolific writer of essays and articles, often discussing the future of space exploration, the necessity of global cooperation, and the ethical considerations of advancing technology. His insights were sought after and respected, reflecting his status as both a storyteller and a thinker. Arthur Clarke's influence extended far beyond the realm of science fiction, he became a spokesperson for the potential of the human spirit, the importance of curiosity, and the need to pursue a greater understanding of the universe. His words inspired not only readers and writers, but also scientists, astronauts, and educators. He played a key role in shaping the public's perception of space and our future in it. As technology advanced and the possibility of space exploration became more tangible, Arthur's writings took on new relevance. They served as a reminder of the responsibility that comes with exploration and the need to approach the unknown with both wonder and caution. Throughout his life, Arthur Clarke remained a beacon of inspiration, urging humanity to continue reaching for the stars. His legacy is one of boundless imagination, a deep love for the mysteries of the universe, and an unwavering belief in humanity's potential. Through his prolific writing, Arthur Clarke not only entertained and educated, but also helped forge a path for the future, encouraging all of us to think beyond the Earth and to dream of what lies in the vast, uncharted spaces of the universe. Chapter 12. An Odyssey of the Mind. In the unfolding chapters of Arthur Clarke's illustrious career, a new theme began to emerge, one that delved into the depths of human consciousness and the burgeoning field of artificial intelligence. This chapter of his journey, both in writing and in thought, was an odyssey of the mind, exploring the complex tapestry of what it means to be human in an era of advancing technology. Arthur was fascinated by the potential of artificial intelligence, a concept that was gaining traction in the scientific community. He envisioned a future where machines not only assisted humans in their daily tasks, but also challenged the very essence of human intellect and creativity. His works began to reflect these ideas, weaving narratives that asked profound questions about the relationship between humans and machines. In his stories, Arthur explored the idea of AI not just as tools or servants, but as entities with their own consciousness. He pondered the moral and ethical implications of creating beings that could think and feel, perhaps even surpassing human intelligence. His writing challenged readers to consider the consequences of such advancements. What responsibilities do we have towards these artificial beings? How do they change our understanding of life and consciousness? 
One of Arthur's key contributions to this theme was his portrayal of AI as more than just cold, calculating machines. He infused them with personality, with the ability to learn and evolve, making them characters in their own right. These AI characters often served as mirrors, reflecting the best and worst of humanity, and prompting readers to introspect about their own nature. Arthur's inquiry into human consciousness was equally profound. He delved into what makes us human, our emotions, our capacity for empathy, our insatiable curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. His stories often featured characters undergoing profound transformations, forced to confront new realities about themselves and the universe. The intersection of human consciousness and artificial intelligence became a central theme in many of Arthur's works. He crafted narratives where humans and AI embarked on journeys together, both physical and metaphysical, exploring the cosmos and the inner workings of the mind. These stories were not just adventures in space, but in the realms of thought and understanding. Arthur's treatment of these themes was not only imaginative, but also grounded in scientific plausibility. He kept abreast of the latest developments in AI and cognitive science, weaving these ideas into his fiction. His approach made the topics accessible and engaging, sparking curiosity and wonder in his readers. Beyond the realm of fiction, Arthur's ideas contributed to the broader discourse on AI and consciousness. His writings became a reference point for discussions on the future of technology, the ethics of AI, and the nature of consciousness. He had a unique ability to present complex ideas in a way that was not only thought-provoking, but also entertaining. As technology continued to evolve, Arthur's writings on AI and human consciousness remained relevant, often prescient. He foresaw a future where these issues would become central to our society, where the lines between human and machine would blur, and where we would need to redefine what it means to be human. Arthur Clarke's Odyssey of the Mind was a journey into uncharted territories of thought and imagination. Through his exploration of AI and human consciousness, he opened a window into future possibilities, challenging us to think deeply about our place in a rapidly changing world. His works became a canvas on which he painted the complexities of the human mind, the potential of artificial intelligence, and the endless quest for understanding that defines our species. In this chapter of his life, Arthur proved once again that he was not just a master storyteller, but a philosopher of the modern age, a visionary who dared to ask the big questions and explore the vast, unexplored landscapes of the mind. His legacy in this realm is a rich tapestry of ideas and narratives that continue to inspire and challenge, urging us to ponder the infinite possibilities of what it means to be human in a world where the boundaries between man and machine are ever evolving. Chapter 13 the Light of Sri Lanka. As the story of Arthur Clarke's life unfolds, we find him in a new and vibrant chapter, one that begins with his move to the enchanting island of Sri Lanka. This beautiful land, with its lush landscapes and rich cultural tapestry, became not just his home, but a profound source of inspiration for his writing and philosophy. In Sri Lanka, Arthur found a world far removed from the bustling cities and technological hubs he had known. The island, with its serene beaches, ancient ruins and diverse wildlife, offered him a different perspective on life. It was a place where the past and present coexisted, where tradition mingled with modernity. This new environment had a noticeable influence on Arthur's work. His writing began to reflect the serene beauty and complexity of Sri Lanka. He wove elements of the island's culture, history and natural beauty into his stories, giving them a fresh, 
and unique flavor. His narratives, while still focused on science fiction and the future, began to include themes of harmony with nature, the importance of cultural heritage, and the beauty of simplicity. Arthur's love for Sri Lanka was not just reflected in his writing, but also in his active involvement in the community. He became a cherished figure in his adopted home, known for his generous spirit and his contributions to the local culture and scientific community. He engaged with local scientists and thinkers, sharing his knowledge and ideas. He supported local initiatives in technology and education, helping to foster a spirit of inquiry and innovation. Arthur believed that every part of the world had a role to play in the future of humanity, and he saw Sri Lanka as a place brimming with potential. Arthur's presence in Sri Lanka also brought global attention to the island. Through his fame, he drew the eyes of the world to the beauty and richness of Sri Lankan culture. He became an unofficial ambassador for the country, sharing its stories and promoting its wonders to his readers and followers around the world. In Sri Lanka, Arthur also found a sense of peace and tranquility that had eluded him in his earlier life. He spent hours walking along the beaches, watching the sunsets and gazing at the stars. These moments of reflection deepened his philosophy and outlook on life. He began to advocate for a balanced approach to life and technology, emphasizing the need to preserve our natural and cultural heritage while embracing the future. Arthur's time in Sri Lanka was transformative. The island's influence permeated his work, enriching his storytelling with new colors and textures. It also shaped his worldview, reinforcing his belief in the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of understanding and respecting different cultures and environments. The light of Sri Lanka, with its warmth and vibrancy, illuminated Arthur Clarke's life and work in profound ways. He became not just a resident, but a part of the island's tapestry, a beloved figure who contributed as much to Sri Lanka as it contributed to him. His legacy in Sri Lanka is a testament to the power of place to inspire, transform and enrich our lives. In this chapter of his journey, Arthur Clarke found not just a home, but a source of endless inspiration, a place that fueled his imagination and nourished his soul. Chapter 14. The legacy continues. As time marched on, Arthur Clarke, now advancing in years, continued to leave an indelible mark on the world. His age did nothing to diminish his influence. In fact, it seemed to grow even more profound. Arthur's foresight, the depth of his narratives and his visionary ideas continued to shape the science fiction genre and influence our collective vision of the future. Arthur's works, both past and present, remained timeless. His stories and novels, written over the decades, continued to captivate readers of all ages. They were not just tales of space and technology, but reflections on humanity's place in the universe. His writing, always forward-thinking and imaginative, continued to inspire new generations of writers, thinkers and dreamers. One of the most remarkable aspects of Arthur's legacy was his ability to foresee technological advancements and societal changes. Many of his predictions about space exploration, communication technologies and artificial intelligence had become realities. His works were no longer just fiction. They were glimpses into a future that was unfolding before our eyes. Arthur's influence extended beyond the realm of literature. His ideas resonated in the fields of science and technology, where his visions of the future often provided inspiration and direction. Scientists and engineers, many of whom had grown up reading his stories, were now working to turn his visions into reality. In the world of science fiction, Arthur's impact was monumental. He had helped to shape the genre, pushing its boundaries and expanding its possibilities. 
his approach to science fiction, a blend of scientific accuracy, philosophical depth, and profound humanism, became a benchmark for other writers. His works were studied, analyzed, and celebrated for their creativity and insight. Despite his age, Arthur remained actively involved in the science fiction community. He continued to write, give interviews, and participate in discussions about the future of humanity and technology. His wisdom and experience made him a respected figure, a sage of the science fiction world. Arthur's legacy was also evident in his impact on popular culture. His ideas and stories had inspired movies, television shows, and other forms of media. 2001, a space odyssey, continued to be a cultural phenomenon, influencing generations of filmmakers and artists. His concepts and themes, exploring the unknown, the relationship between humans and technology, the quest for understanding, were now common threads in science fiction and beyond. As he aged, Arthur also became a mentor and a source of inspiration for young writers. He encouraged them to think boldly, to imagine new worlds, and to use their writing as a tool to explore the big questions of life and the universe. His guidance and encouragement helped nurture a new generation of storytellers. Arthur's philosophical reflections, once confined to the pages of his books, had permeated into broader discussions about the future. He was seen as a visionary who had not only predicted the future, but had also provided a roadmap for navigating its complexities. His thoughts on space exploration, the ethical use of technology, and the preservation of our planet continued to influence discussions and decisions. Even in his later years, Arthur Clarke's legacy continued to grow. His life's work stood as a testament to the power of imagination and the enduring human spirit. He had journeyed far beyond the confines of ordinary life, taking millions of readers with him on a voyage through time and space, through the realms of possibility and wonder. Arthur's legacy was not just a collection of books and ideas, it was a beacon, guiding us toward a future filled with discovery and understanding. He had shown us the beauty and mystery of the universe, the potential of human ingenuity, and the importance of looking beyond our own world. As his influence continued to expand, Arthur Clarke's legacy became an integral part of our journey into the future, a light that would continue to shine guiding us through the unknown and inspiring us to reach for the stars. Chapter 15. Twilight Reflections In the twilight of his remarkable life, Arthur Clarke, now an elder statesman of science fiction and a visionary of the modern age, spent his final years in contemplation and reflection. Surrounded by the serenity of his beloved Sri Lanka, he looked back on a life rich with experiences, achievements, and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Arthur pondered the incredible advancements he had witnessed in his lifetime. He had seen humanity take its first tentative steps into space, watched as technology transformed the way people lived and communicated, and observed as his own predictions about the future became realities. These advancements filled him with a sense of awe and wonder. He marvelled at the rapid pace of change and the ingenuity of the human spirit. As he reflected, Arthur's thoughts often turned to the future, a subject that had always captivated his imagination. Even in his later years, his mind was alive with ideas and possibilities. He imagined a future where humanity reached beyond the confines of Earth, exploring distant planets and stars. He envisioned a world where technology and humanity coexisted in harmony, where the challenges of today were met with the innovations of tomorrow. Arthur's reflections were not just about technological advancements. They were also deeply personal. He thought about the stories he had written, the characters he had created, 
and the ideas he had shared. He considered the impact his work had on others, how it had inspired generations to dream and explore. He felt a deep sense of satisfaction, knowing that his words had sparked curiosity and wonder in the hearts and minds of so many. In these quiet moments, Arthur also pondered the mysteries that still remained, the questions that science had yet to answer. He thought about the vastness of the universe, the complexities of the human mind, and the potential for life beyond our planet. These unanswered questions did not frustrate him. Instead, they filled him with a sense of excitement and possibility. For Arthur, the unknown was not something to fear, but something to embrace. A reminder that there was always more to learn and discover. Arthur's reflections on his life and the future were tinged with a sense of optimism. Despite the challenges and uncertainties facing the world, he believed in the potential of humanity to overcome obstacles and create a better future. He saw hope in the curiosity and creativity of the younger generation, in their willingness to question, explore and innovate. In his final years, Arthur's legacy was already evident. He had become more than a writer. He was a thinker, a dreamer, and a guide for those looking to the stars. His contributions to science fiction, his predictions about the future, and his philosophical musings had left an indelible mark on the world. He had inspired people to look beyond the horizon, to imagine what could be, and to work towards making those dreams a reality. As Arthur Clarke looked out over the ocean from his home in Sri Lanka, watching the sunset paint the sky with vibrant colours, he felt a deep sense of peace and fulfilment. His life had been a journey of exploration, not just through the realms of space and technology, but through the vast landscapes of the mind and imagination. In his twilight years, Arthur's reflections were a testament to a life well lived, a life spent in pursuit of knowledge and understanding. He had witnessed the wonders of the universe, both real and imagined, and he had shared those wonders with the world. As he gazed into the twilight, Arthur Clarke knew that his journey was coming to an end. But he also knew that the journey of humanity, the journey he had helped to inspire, was just beginning. And in that knowledge, he found comfort and joy, content in the thought that the future was bright with possibilities, boundless as the stars in the night sky. Chapter 16 Starlight, Starbright as the final chapter of Arthur Clarke's extraordinary life came to a close, the world paused to mourn the passing of a visionary. Arthur, whose imagination and intellect had reached across the vastness of space and deep into the human heart, left a legacy that was both profound and enduring. News of Arthur's passing spread quickly around the globe, touching the hearts of millions who had been inspired by his words and ideas. From the bustling cities to the remote corners of the world, people felt a sense of loss, as if a bright star had faded from the night sky. Tributes poured in from all corners of the world, from readers, writers, scientists and dreamers who had been moved by Arthur's vision. In the days following his passing, Stories were shared about Arthur's impact on individual lives and on society as a whole. People recounted how his books had sparked their love for science and exploration, how his visions of the future had inspired their careers, and how his philosophical insights had provided comfort and guidance. Arthur had been more than a writer. He had been a mentor, a role model, and a beacon of hope and curiosity. Despite the sadness, there was also a celebration of Arthur's life and achievements. His contributions to literature, science, and the human understanding of the universe were remembered and honored. His works, now considered classics, 
continued to be read and cherished, their messages and themes as relevant as ever. Arthur's passing was not just the end of a life. It was the beginning of a new chapter in his legacy. He became a symbol of the eternal human quest for knowledge, a representation of the infinite possibilities that lie among the stars. His life's work stood as a testament to the power of imagination and the human spirit's unquenchable thirst for understanding. In the years following Arthur's death, his influence remained palpable. New generations of writers and filmmakers cited him as an inspiration, continuing to explore the themes and ideas he had introduced. Scientists and explorers, looking up at the stars, carried with them Arthur's visions of the future, using them as a guide as they pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. Arthur's legacy also lived on in the countless readers who found in his stories a sense of wonder and a glimpse into the grandeur of the cosmos. His ability to blend science with profound storytelling had opened minds and expanded horizons. His exploration of human consciousness and the potential of technology continued to provoke thought and discussion. The legacy of Arthur Clarke was not confined to the past. It was a living, evolving force. His ideas and visions continued to inspire. His books continued to be read. And his influence continued to be felt in the realms of science, literature and beyond. He had shown the world the beauty and mystery of the universe, the potential of human ingenuity and the importance of dreaming beyond the confines of the known. As the world looked up at the stars, they remembered Arthur Clarke, a man who had journeyed through the cosmos in his mind, who had taken humanity on a voyage of discovery and imagination. In the starlight, people saw a reflection of Arthur's spirit, a reminder that his journey had not ended but had simply transformed into a new form. Arthur Clarke's story was one of wonder, exploration and endless curiosity. He had lived a life reaching for the stars, and in doing so, he had become a star himself, a shining light in the vast universe of human thought and imagination. His legacy was a gift to the future, a beacon that would continue to guide and inspire as humanity continued its eternal quest for knowledge and the infinite possibilities that lie among the stars. As our journey through Arthur Clarke's inspiring life comes to a close, remember that your adventure in learning English doesn't have to end here. Visit wooenglish.com to discover more stories and download free ebooks in PDF format, continuing your journey of learning English through engaging narratives. Keep exploring. Keep learning.